day eight of 30. Today's video, I thought of doing something different. Today's video is for those of you who have a job you hate or a business that you're out of alignment with and you want to move into something different, something that is more true to you, but you don't know how. And maybe you don't even have clarity about what you want to do. You're in that phase where you're trying to figure out, okay, if I don't like this and this is what makes me money, what am I supposed to do instead? I've been through that before and like maybe 99.9% .9 of entrepreneurs, and that's a very scientific number, 99.9% .9 of entrepreneurs out there quit way too early. First of all, I understand. Okay, let me start by saying I'm not going to tell you to just stay there until you make the money, etc. But I'm also not going to tell you to just quit, burn the boat, uh, give yourself no chance to fail that kind of rah-rah speech because it doesn't help anyone. Because the truth is, the people who report that it worked out, you know, we we only see those that uh, t tell us a good story, tell us a story of success. But for, for most people, what happens is they quit too early and then they don't talk about it. They just go back to that because there's nothing there to share. So they go back to their lives, right? They're like, well, this didn't work out. So, okay, so I'm going to go back to figuring things out. And that happened to me more than once in my life. Okay, more than once I quit too early and you'd think I would learn a lesson, <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't. It takes me a few times, unfortunately. Every time I, uh, there are some things I refuse to face. So eventually life, you know, keeps presenting, to, presenting them to me until I'm like, okay, fine, fuck, that, you're right. Okay, fuck, you're right. Okay, so nowadays I, th I like to think I'm much better at accepting realities, but in the past I just kind of, yeah, anyway. So point is, if you are in this position, first of all, don't just burn the bridge. Don't just quit. Because trust me when I tell you, the stress of not having the money is not going to be that much better than the stress of having a position that you don't like or doing work that is out of alignment. But also at the same time, I get it because it really isn't. It's not something that you should put yourself through for the longest time and expect better. So what do you do? There is no answer fits all, but this is what I think works for everybody. A, figure out what, how much money do you really need? Not how much do you want to maintain your current lifestyle, but how much do you need? Like if this is something that matters to you, the first thing I would do is take stock of your expenses and let go of anything that is unnecessary. Let go of anything, I'm not talking about feeding yourself crappier foods, all right? I'm not saying hurt yourself. I'm not saying to, but live below your means in other ways. I think you'll understand what I mean. So things like fun can be cut down a little bit. Uh, frivolous expenses can be cut down a little bit. Things can be delayed. You have to kind of limit yourself temporarily in order to have more freedom later. That's the first thing. The second thing I would think about is not just my expenses, but the business expenses. So the more expensive the business is to maintain, the more runway cash you're going to have to have in your bank account. If your business is lean, for example, if your business is like a service business and you're a solopreneur, hopefully you're not buying super expensive softwares that you don't need and hiring extra people to try to get away from certain works too early. Um, then your business is probably not going to cost you a lot of money. But if you have a business that requires a lot of cash, then you need a lot of cash in the bank because basically you need to provide for yourself and and your loved ones if you are responsible for other people and provide for your business as well because having a business is kind of like having a child you have to have it from a good place from a strong place from a place of comfort from a place of power you don't want to start from a place of weakness of having your back to the wall trust me trust me trust me yes that gives you a lot of energy and drive but it also drives you to make decisions that are uh short uh short Term, I don't know, it's too early in the, in, in the morning right now. It's 8.31 a.m. and I, I have a group program starting in like an hour and a half. Uh, and I have to post this in like 29 minutes. Short-term thinking, it drives you to think short-term only. Like it, it's, it's, it's a place of fear that you do not want to be in. So instead of just quitting and instead of just putting yourself through it and feeling like your ass is on fire and you hate this job or you hate this business and you want to get out of it as quickly as possible, so I'm just going to push through or I'm going to burn it and try to figure things out and trust myself and et cetera, et cetera, and fall on your ass. Instead of doing either one of these two, figure out why do I dislike this? 
is it the people that I work with? Is it the work itself? Is it something else going on? If you can change the situation and make it better, great. If you can't, then you have to find another alternative source of money that you can imagine yourself staying with for years. And listen, this is a piece that I didn't understand before because I always thought that, okay, as soon as the business is making money, you can just quit. But that's not how it works. It's not enough to have a profitable business. Like I said, it's, it's you have to have um, that cash in the bank, right? First of all, you have to have a business that works, that makes money. So you have to found, have found an offer that the market wants, proven that this offer works. So you've sold it a few times, you know, so it's not just once and done. Um, done it consistently enough for a few months, let's say three months, where you know, okay, this, this seems to work. You have basically a reliable marketing process. You know how to take somebody from complete stranger, how to find them, how to talk about your work, how to, how to market it, how to sell it, etc. You're making the money and you're doing it consistently enough and you have enough in the bank to cover you in case you stop making money or in case something happens, you have enough cash in the bank and you continue, and this is the important part that I also didn't understand before, you continue to live a lean lifestyle and you continue to keep your business lean for as long as possible, for as long as possible until you've built a really strong, powerful nest. Don't cash the money, as, like don't go spend it as soon as you have it. Don't, like just because your business is making 20K or 10K or whatever, or making, you know, whatever numbers that you thought you feel, because this is very relative, right? Whatever number you feel like, okay, now I have some breathing room, I can start spending like crazy, don't do it. Delay it for some time, save, save your money, save your cash, and continue strengthening your business by, refining your business, refining your offers, refining your marketing, refining your sales, refining yourself, working on yourself and uh, delaying gratification and keeping that cash for as long as you can. And then once, and then it's, it's there's no specific time. There is, this is a difference between time and timing. Time is do it in three months, do it in one year, do it in two years. That's, that's silly advice. Nobody can tell you what is the right time, but you can tell what is the right timing and you will know what is the right timing. So it's important that you are living in a situation where the present moment doesn't feel so excruciatingly painful that you're trying to get away from it because then you're going to make decisions where you're trying to get away from something instead of running towards something. And there's a difference. There's a huge difference between wanting to being pulled by a vision versus running away from something that is painful. You never know how long it's going to take you. You never know how long it's going to take you to get to a point where the timing is right for you to say goodbye to your original source or sources of income, whether that's another business or a job or whatever, and go full time in your business. And there's nothing wrong with continuing to do this for as long as you want to. Again, it depends on you and your expenses. Some people can live off of $2,000 a month. Some people have responsibility, uh, bigger responsibilities, take care of other people. They need like six figures or multiple six figures just to make ends meet. Everybody is different. So there's no right answer for everyone. You have to figure that out for yourself, but you'll know the right timing, but you'll only know it if you are in a position where you feel at least okay. So make sure you take care of yourself and feel okay in the present moment, feel ready to be in the present moment, whatever it looks like for as long as possible. Because if you can do that, if you can do that, you'll make the best decisions and your business in the long run is going to be so much better off. I hope this was helpful. This is sincerely from the bottom of my heart. This is the advice I would, have, I would give to myself if I could go back in time and talk to my younger self. This is what I would tell her. It's not about age, it's about our timing, right? So if you're in that stage, please, please, please give this a listen and don't do what feels relieving and good in this moment at the expense of your future self. You have to have compassion for yourself now and later. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you tomorrow.